Hey there, everybody. Z here coming at you live once more with the Power of the Perlin SEO channel. And in today's video, we are going to be covering keywords, all right? How to find effective keywords for your target market, the different kinds of keywords you can look at. We're going to be covering a lot of things, okay? First and foremost, we're going to start off with what we covered yesterday, all right? In yesterday's video, we covered how to effectively find a target market for your website, okay? Just a few things, five out of almost 20 steps you could do, but it's a good idea to get just some general information about your target market, okay? Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at using that information to find um, keywords, right? For your blogs, for your websites, as well as determining keyword uh, strength, um, you know, ranking data, all of these things, all right? So first and foremost, I'm gonna be using the idea of car accidents for this, all right? I find that's going to be the most effective um, keywords out of everything. So for example, I'm just gonna type in car accidents here, car accident, right? I mean to search it and immediately a bunch of things pops up uh this is searches in the united states just be in mind of that so if you're searching from india or the uk this might be slightly different but in general the keyword difficulty is ranked as hard okay what that basically means it it means that you, they estimate you'll need backlinks from about 212 websites to rank in the top 10 for this keyword that is effectively what they're trying to say okay now that's the most important thing when we look at it here, okay? You see that difficulty there? We're going to go to just um, matching terms over here, okay? We're just going to go to matching terms, and we're going to look at this here. So you can see there's a lot of keywords that match this, right? Uh, so let's come back to uh, back here. So now this is what we call a short tail keyword. It's a very broad keyword, which means it's going to be super difficult to rank for unless you're already out there and you have a really powerful domain or website uh, in terms of ranking. Okay, now let's make this into a long tail keyword. If you remember from previous videos, short tail keywords are super broad, not specific. Longer tail keywords, and the longer they get, become more and more specific and hyper specific. Okay, so now we're going to change car accident to fatal car accident. Okay, and suddenly we've cut the difficulty by more than half. Okay, our volumes and our traffic potential, yes, they have been affected, but if we were a smaller to medium sized website, 30, um, 13 keyword difficulty is totally reachable. It's totally, um, it's totally there for us to reach, okay? So this can be, if we're doing, a, for example, medical or logging or something, this keyword density, perfect and well within our ability to reach, okay? Let's make it a bit more specific. Let's say we want to focus on local things happening in Texas and we search fatal car accident to Texas. Super low search volume, right? But it's within a reasonable um, reasonable margin to say that if we were starting out the website, this could be a keyword we could target, okay? And you can see how effectively we've turned a short tail keyword into a longer tail keyword, okay? We've taken car accidents, which is super broad, then we've made it fatal. Then we, made it, then we specifically said that it's happening in Texas. So we've got geographical data, we've got um, an incident that is occurring, and we've made a degree to the incident, okay? So now we can start talking about this. So let's say, for example, there was an accident in Texas yesterday, right? And I am working at a local news um, news uh, website, and I tagline it, fatal car accident, Texas, right? Or person, um, person involved in fatal car accident, Texas, all right? There you can start to see how these keywords can start being effective for us if, you know, we are super low traffic or we're just starting up, okay? We can use another example, for example, in another example, for example, in gaming, right? If I just said gaming, super, super hard, really hard to break into this, right? So um, let's make this a bit more difficult. I'll say online gaming, right? Online gaming. It's brought it down a little bit, but still super difficult, okay? Um, and I search then um, USA, online gaming USA. That's brought it down a lot. Let's make it a bit more specific. Um, adventure, right? Okay, now we've gone a bit too far. So let's reword this. Uh, online, uh, sorry, online adventure gaming USA. Okay, now we now we can see that now we've gotten a bit too far. So this might not be a good keyword, but you can see the process that I'm doing to reduce the difficulty of the keyword, and it's something I highly recommend you do. If you go to matching terms, right? Let's say, for example, we go back to gaming, right? Gaming USA or USA. And we search it. 
Here it's going to give us a lot of matching keywords. For example, gaming PC USA, super, super high difficulty. There's no way you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to uh, do that, right? So what you can do is you can filter it by keyword difficulty. Okay, so that's uh, filtering by the top down. And now we're filtering from the down up. Okay, just give it a moment. Now you can see, for example, we can do some more things. Let's say we start from one and we go to 45, for example. All right, this is a very broad range. And we say, show results. We're going to wait for a second. And now it's going to start showing us all of the different search results, right? So you can see that within our breadth, this, this is a really difficult um, topic to break into. There are a few here that you can see um, are being searched. So using this and messing around a bit because every keyword is, dota, is different, you are able to find exactly what it is you want to target in that target audience. If you're doing beauty and makeup um, or you're doing a salon, different keywords, different areas, different demographics, different services, all these things can be taken into account to create the most effective um, presentation possible. Guys, I hope this was insightful. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know down below if you have any questions, and I will see you all tomorrow.